So yeah, no matter what Galaxy S23 variant you're using, you're going to have an absolutely amazing time with Samsung DeX, especially when it comes to gaming and emulation. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be checking out Samsung DeX on the brand new S23 Ultra. Now, I do want to mention that this will also work on the S23 and the S23 Plus, but this is the one I have in my possession right now. And I'm going to tell you, with this new Snapdragon CPU, this is the best experience that I've ever had with Samsung DeX. If you're not familiar with Samsung DeX, basically on these higher-end Galaxy S devices, we also have something like a desktop mode. And when connecting your Galaxy device to a larger display, you can basically turn it into a work machine, a console, an emulation machine, or a media playback device, good for 4K 60 output. It's still Android, but it's kind of Samsung's desktop operating system that runs right beside, you know, regular Android that's on your built-in screen. This will actually work wirelessly with your Windows PC or even a screen with Miracast or Chromecast built in, but personally, I like using a wired connection, that way I don't have any kind of latency, and there's several ways to go about this. You can go with a cheaper USB Type-C to HDMI adapter. I'll leave some links in the description. One of my go-tos is usually an adapter like this. You can pick them up for around $18 to $25 on Amazon. It has two USB 3.0 ports, Ethernet and power in, plus HDMI out. Really awesome option, but uh, something that's been popping up quite a bit on eBay and Amazon on recently are the Steam Deck docks for a pretty decent deal. This will work with an Android device, USB Type-C in, it's got HDMI out, 4K 60 output, couple USBs, and Ethernet. You can set a larger Android device right in here horizontally and plug that USB Type-C in right to your port on the phone. And these do work, but if you've already got a display, be it a monitor or TV with USB Type-C video in, you don't need an adapter like this. Another thing I would highly recommend is kind of a keyboard and mouse combo. You can go wired with it or you can go USB with an adapter. And if you want a game, definitely pick up a nice Bluetooth controller. The Xbox One controllers work great with Android. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into it and see how the new Galaxy S23 performs with Samsung DeX. Okay, so like we saw, there are several ways we can connect this device to a larger display. You can go wireless with it, but you're only going to get 30 FPS. Personally, I like going wired. You can use a dock or an adapter like I showed, or if you've got a monitor that supports USB Type-C video in, that's probably going to be your best bet. This is the way I like it set up. That way, when I'm playing games on a bigger screen, I have no input latency. Going wireless will work for like watching videos and maybe doing a little bit of photo editing here and there. But if you're going to do anything intensive, uh, I would definitely go wired with it. Now from the phone itself, we've got a built-in trackpad. You can actually set this right down in front of the monitor and use it. It's got multi-gesture support built in. And this will get you by, but uh, you know, this does support a keyboard and mouse. You could go with a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse combo, or if you've got a dock or an adapter or a monitor like this that also has USB in, you can use a wireless setup with a USB dongle. And that's exactly what I have here, just a cheaper Logitech mouse and keyboard. And as you can see, I mean, we've got basically a full-blown desktop operating system here. We also have dedicated Samsung DeX settings. So from here, we can actually change the resolution, but this monitor only goes up to 1440p over USB-C. But as you can see, we're at 1440p. It'll also support 1440p on an ultra-wide monitor. We've also got our sound settings, so we can actually have sound come through the phone or the connected display. We've got mouse settings, so we can change the cursor speed and things like that. We can also kind of uh, scale up the whole operating system because at 1440p it might be a bit hard to see at least on camera. So we can actually take this up a bit and uh, just makes everything a bit bigger, but we're still running at 1440p 60 hertz. It does have multi-window support and I've actually had up to five apps running at the same time. We can kind of scale these up, scale them down. It's even got a snap feature. And most of the apps that I've tested from Google Play do scale up properly, go in total full screen, but there are a few exceptions, like Minecraft. It's just a little odd. We can't go total full screen in dex mode, but uh, we can scale it by dragging the window out, and we can get really close to full screen, but for some reason that one just is always giving me issues. I'm looking for another app here to kind of have three apps up and running, so we'll go with PPSSPP. We can scale each one of these windows to our liking so we can make it fit our screen. If you're using, you know, a smaller monitor, you might want to scale these down or scale them up. But uh, like I mentioned, a lot of these will go total full screen. We'll check out uh, PPSSPP. Got this little bar here. Full screen without, a, you know, our action bar up top, but we can always kind of hover over it and it'll pop up for us. 
We're definitely going to be testing out a few things, but uh, the first thing I wanted to show off was a little bit of 4K video playback. With the Galaxy S23 Ultra, we've got more than enough power. I mean, heck, even from the uh, S9 with DeX installed, we could do 4K 60 pretty well. And over USB Type-C, it supports HDR. So right now, I'm going to have this running at 4K 60 with HDR on. I've got Stats for Nerds up in the top left-hand corner, and just by the end of this video, we had three drop frames. Remember, we've got Wi-Fi 6 built in here, but you could always connect an Ethernet adapter if you wanted to. Three frames, something you'd never notice, and this usually happens even on high-end systems on the initial load-in. main things a lot of people use Samsung DeX for is work. And, you know, we'll just check out some spreadsheets here using Google Sheets. Doing it on the built-in screen on the phone, you know, it can definitely be done. But having this bigger screen here and multi-app support or multi-window support does work wonders. You could also use Microsoft Excel if you want to. But in my experience, Google Sheets does work out much better with this multi-window support in Android right now. Photo editing on a big screen is really the way to go. And you could always use your favorite app. But these Adobe apps like Lightroom actually support DeX mode quite well. We've got full mouse functionality, so we've got the multi-gesture support and things like that. Double tap, we've got right click, left click. Makes it really easy to edit these images on a bigger screen using DeX. And I'll tell you what, one of my favorite apps to use with Samsung DeX is actually Adobe Rush for video editing. It's a lightweight video editor, but it's pretty powerful if you know what you're doing. And uh, just like Lightroom, we've got full mouse support here, so it makes it really easy to kind of navigate these windows and get some video editing on the go out of the way. But really, when it comes down to it, my go-to use case scenario for Samsung DeX is actually gaming, be it native Android gaming, cloud gaming, and especially emulation. We're going to go with some Call of Duty Mobile, and we can kind of scale this on the window if we want to, or we could go full screen. It also has full support for like an Xbox controller, and I've got one connected over Bluetooth right now. And with the S23 Ultra, you can max this game out even in Samsung DeX mode. Actually, one question I usually get here is, you know, the performance degradation from the regular Android mode to Samsung DeX. And in the past, I've actually done a video running benchmarks on both. There was no noticeable difference. In fact, in one benchmark, we actually got a little bit of higher CPU score using Samsung DeX. Now, if I would have run that same benchmark a couple times in both, we could have beat it out, you know, in Android mode versus DeX, but it was still pretty impressive to see. So there's really no performance degradation going over to a big screen like this. And like I mentioned, Minecraft has always given me issues trying to scale it up in DeX. So we don't have that top bar with this one. And no matter what I do, I just can't go full screen with it. But we can kind of scale the window itself to go as large as we want on the main screen here which does give us plenty of playroom, but it would be nice to kind of go total full screen. I'm not sure if this is ever going to be resolved, and it's actually been like this for a few years, so I think this is how it's going to be. Another type of gaming that works out really well with DeX is cloud gaming, be it GeForce Now or one of my favorites, uh, Xbox Cloud Gaming or Game Pass. Right now I'm using the built-in Wi-Fi, the Galaxy S23 Ultra, but this monitor and a lot of adapters out there that you're going to pick up to use DeX with will have Ethernet. And when you're cloud gaming, being wired is just going to make it a much better experience. But even with Wi-Fi 6 and a decent connection, you can play your favorite games here. Next up, I wanted to show off a little bit of emulation here. So we've got some PSP using PPSSPP with Tekken 6. We're at 5x resolution using the Vulcan backend. So we're scaled up close to that 1440p resolution, and it really does look great on these larger displays. Another one that functions really well is PS2. So we've got Ether SX2, Gran Turismo 4. We're at 2x resolution, and it really does make a difference going from the built-in screen here to a larger one. I could probably upscale this a bit more. I think we could handle 3x here with Gran Turismo 4, but I'm just sitting at 2 using the OpenGL backend. And PS2 emulation on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is absolutely amazing. So yeah, I really do think that Samsung DeX is a very viable option for people who just already use their phone as their main PC. This is going to work out on the Galaxy S23, the S23 Plus, or the Ultra. You don't need to go super expensive with the Ultra to get Samsung DeX. The less expensive S23s are going to handle it just as well as the Ultra does. But keep in mind, if you've already got like a Galaxy S9 sitting in a drawer somewhere you might have upgraded, that also supports Samsung DeX, and you can actually get a lot done even though it's working with an older CPU. 
One of my favorite devices to use that I usually just have set up with Samsung DeX is the Galaxy S10e. It was a cheaper one that I picked up on eBay. It was a used device. And I've actually had a blast using Samsung DeX on that for gaming, emulation, and even work. But uh, if you're not into DeX, remember this will support mirror mode. I'm not a huge fan of it because we got those black bars on the top and bottom. It just doesn't scale up correctly given the aspect ratio of the built-in phone screen. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. Ever since this device released, I've had a lot of people asking about Samsung DeX, so I figured I'd go ahead and show it off. And yeah, I mean, given it's the newest Samsung Galaxy device on the market, this is the best experience that I've had with Samsung DeX so far. And it's kind of a given with the CPU we have here that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is no joke. It's a great ARM SoC. But you can always go with the lower end device and use this same setup. It's got to be an S series Galaxy device from the S9 on up. If you're interested in picking up anything that you saw in this video, I'll leave some links in the description. And if there's anything else you want to see running on the S23 Ultra, just let me know down below. But that's it for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.